Hello folks, uh, uh, this time the question is uh, for 2019, October, November, paper 1-3 and the question number is 20. Uh, the question uh, is uh, concerned with the chapter elastic properties uh, of matter. So it says that uh, the diagram shows a force extension graph, force extension graph for a rubber band uh, as the band is extended and then the stretching force is reduced to zero. So this shows uh, the curve as the band is extended and this shows the curve as the band returns back to its original position. What can be deduced from the graph? So we have to observe the graph carefully and see what can be deduced from the graph. The first point says the rubber band does not return to its original length. A length when the force is to zero. So it says that uh, it does not return to the original length. But this is not true. It's because uh, when the force has been reduced to zero, the extension is zero. Extension zero means that there has been no change in the length. So that means uh, the original length should have been regained. So, so this thing is not a true case. The answer is wrong. The rubber band obeys Hooke's law for the extension shown. It says it follows Hooke's law. It is not true because uh, the uh, graph is not a straight line. The force and extension are not proportional to each other. So that follows a curve path, so it is also not true. Number C, the rubber band remains elastic for the extensions shown. The rubber band remains elastic for the extensions shown. This seems to be true. It's because uh, as we increase the force and again return uh, and again uh, change the force to zero, the extension becomes zero. That means it has regained its shape, regained its shape and size. So, so, so it remains elastic for this extension at least. It remains, it doesn't follow Hooke's law, but it remains elastic. So this seems to be true. Let's go for the choice, number D. The shear area represents the work done in extending the rubber band. It says the shear area represents the work done. It's not true because the work done is given by, given by the whole area under this thing, this thing during the extension. So this, uh, this area should give the extension. So this shear area does not give that. It means the work done during extension. This thing does not give that, that to work, so that's why this is also not true. So the only answer, uh, true answer becomes number C.